Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. We are back in Empires of the Undergrowth. So last time we had another little go at, uh, what was it called again? Extremis? Is that what it called? I oh, went the same thing again, didn't I? Wanted to go into other modes and extra levels. And yes, it was Extremis. We did an extra go at Extremis, which was the kind of roguelike earn some points, get some more units sort of thing. We did pretty well on that. Still haven't done babysitting yet, which I know some people pointed out in the last live stream that I did, which wasn't an Empires live stream, by the way, just in case you start freaking out. Haven't done that yet, so we have to come back to that at some point. But there's one thing we haven't done yet, which is the free play. So today we're going to have a go and not hitting load at hitting new and doing a free play map, which should have. Where is the, uh, the colony species? The leafcutter colony species. So I don't know if we do gene thief. If that allows you to have the, the leaf cutters, I don't know. So maybe we'll give that a go and see what happens. We're going to hit advanced though. So we're going to do Gene Thief. So we don't get any options there. We want... Do we want all the creatures? We turned some stuff off before, but that's because it didn't really fit the map. So I think we'll leave all of that on. We're not going to put waves on. We're not going to disable any of that. We're going to leave it on medium difficulty. We're going to play on the new map, which is the embankment map. which has got this lovely river going through the middle. We're going to leave flooding off, I think. Are we going to leave flooding off? Did we leave flooding on for that? I didn't know. Yeah, maybe we will have flooding. We will have flooding. I've changed my mind. We will have the day-night cycle. Uh, we'll start in the morning. We're going to have the ramp with spikes difficulty. We'll start about there. We'll have no victory. That's fine. The colony name is going to be uh, Leafcutter Beta. We're going to pick a lovely color of ooh, green, I think. We're going to try the Gene Thief, but I might have to immediately quit and load back in with uh, with Leaf Cutters because I don't know how that's going to work. We'll find out. Apart from that, let's go. Let's see what happens. So I did reload it again and go with a pure Leaf Cutter colony. So we only have Leaf Cutters These available to us. Does that mean that this is going to be useless to us? Because be obviously doing the Gene Thief, you get the Majors and I think the Medias, but that doesn't really do much, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dig this at a bit of an angle. We need to make a leaf store, which we will do down here. We will make all of this our leaf store when they finish digging this out. Done at an angle just to give it a little bit more of a, a distance to get into the queen. Um, let's dig that out if you wouldn't mind, lads. So this will all be leaf store. We need a refuse, which I might make like up here actually then, since we've got this little space. Let's dig out a little bit more of that, and then we'll get some refuse there. So where are we? We're up in this top right-hand corner. You see some lovely leaf outside. That's wonderful. We've got a little bit of food to start with, but not too much. They're going to go and dig that out. I need to get some refuse first, really. And I want to put it up here in the corner to start with. So we're going to be a little slow getting started. There's an aphid nest just outside, but the aphids are useless to us. So that's kind of going to be interesting, isn't it? All of our usual food sources are entirely pointless. So we'll put down a couple of those. We are going to need to make our first... area where we're going to put down some new ants. We'll do that there so we can expand that. In fact, it's probably a bit too big, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's what we want. So we can expand that. And then we'll get the other ones coming off here, I suppose. It's all going to be a little far from the queen because she's stuck so far into the corner. It's a little awkward. So we'll get a few of those down. And then as soon as they've got some eggs on there. Did they just hatch immediately? Oh, no, that's the minims. That's the minims. So they've got some eggs down. So we'll put those over there. And then we'll take the ones outside to start gathering this leaf. Wonderful. So I don't know how long this first video on the free play is going to be. Purely because uh, I've been so busy lately with all sorts of crazy things happening. So I've obviously, as you may know, I say obviously, but as you may know, my wife is quite heavily pregnant. So we have been going to birthing classes. We're getting the bathroom done, which has been a bit of a disaster, but it's on its way. We have um, getting the floor downstairs sanded. We're taking a fireplace out. So all sorts of things going on. So what I need to do is make a little path for the minims, don't I? If I make a path for the minims, then it's pointless doing that little route in the first place, wasn't it? Yeah, completely pointless. No matter. No matter. So yeah, so we had a 
antenatal class this evening, so I, it's a little late. I went there pretty much, I got home, went to the toilet, went straight there from work, so it is getting on towards 10 to 11 in the evening now, so I don't want to be doing this for a full hour, so we might just do a little bit of a start, get our colony settled in, and then we'll uh, carry on next time. Because normally with the free plays, I do make them quite a large free play. We keep going to see just how far we can take it. So we can see the leaf on the map, which I think that's new, isn't it? Being able to see the leaf on the mini map. I don't recall being able to see that, but am I just making... I think I'm just making it up. I think I'm a liar. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. So let's get some more workers down. And then do we want to go straight for medias? Or do we want to go for more workers? Go for numbers first? I feel like more workers to start with, but do we want to get them to two separate groups or just expand this one? Let's expand this one. This colony must remain small. So as the food now. goes up, we'll just keep food building scarce to support more groups. of these. We can then swap those over, as there are now more of these workers here than there are nurseries. Now, food's coming in quite quick at the moment. That's purely because the food source is so very, very close. Oh, there's a fish right there. That would have been amazing. It's purely because that food source is so very close to us, look. So they don't have far to go to bring it back into the nest. Don't know how long that's going to last. Well, we do. The answer to that is not very long at all. See, I should have thought about the fact that minimums would need access to that, because it's kind of made this all a bit pointless up here now, hasn't it? It does mean we can turn this into another nest site, though, doesn't it? So we'll do that, which will have to be there. So I can expand that way. So if we do that... Hold on. Definitely that. But we can't do that. So it's going to have to be that, that, and that. And then those two, and those two will be there. That's where our medias are going to be. But we'll get a few more. We may as well finish this off. We're so close to getting the full 19 for this now. They're going to be fairly close to running out of food, are they? So make sure they get up there and get that 20 that's there. Because this bit down here, they'll get on the way to this one anyway. And there's a few little bits up here. There's a nice one there, but it is surrounded by spiny crickets. There's a nice one over there, though, which is fairly close. So we can get our last two workers in. I don't know what happens if you upgrade workers. Does it make them carry stuff? Does it make them faster? Or does it just make them tougher? See, so yeah, they're going to pick up those bits on the way, I'm pretty sure. And then we'll start getting this, this lovely plant here done. Done and dusted. Take a quick look at the river. I don't think the flooding's going to really bother us, because the flooding's only going to come up to here, isn't it? So the flooding isn't going to have any bearing on us. And I don't see it having much effect on uh, anything, actually. I suppose the flooding will take out the bridges, which is the main thing, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Lovely, mossy, sticky ground that's down there. That's absolutely beautiful, actually. Absolutely beautiful. Right. So we have enough to start working on our media group. Our waste storage is getting quite ridiculous. So we are going to start working on these and expanding this, and we will also... Then I'll do that bit up there as well, and we'll get them upgraded as well, because they're going to be poisoned and slow as they go in there. So we want to minimise the time they're going to be up here. So if we build all of these, because we can also expand the down here as starving. well. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. It's like it's a nice big waste store. So when we get a bit of food in, I'll upgrade that bit up there. We need to add those over there. Leaf store's kind of getting full a little bit as well. Just give a few to the leaf store. We'll fill in that one. And then we'll need to upgrade as many of these as we can. Because upgrading them again increases the speed with which the waste is processed. So these minus ones that are popping up, as they're upgraded, those minus ones will appear more frequently, which obviously is a very useful thing. 
I'm assuming they're still okay over there. Yeah, they've still got about half of that to go. Okay, so we'll see if this is going to... This will give us at least one 12, two 12s. That'll give us that one and that one. I'm trying to keep them in there as... If they're going to upgrade stuff, they may as well get it all out of the way now, is the thinking. It's going to give us that one, which is going to give us that one, which will give us that one, which will give us that one. I think that's going to be it then, though. But that's a pretty good start. It's massively increased our waste store, and it's going to be processing it all a lot faster now. So the minions will be able to get a lot of that waste dealt with a lot faster. So we're going to get some more medias on the go. So this plant, let's just move the one out of the way so we can actually see it. It's down to 170. And then there is a little bit over here, but not much. But there is this very lovely plant over here. So I think that's where we'll go afterwards. Leaf store's full again. The water's about to rise, but that's not going to affect us. Um, so let's do more outside here. And we can look at upgrading this at some point as well. In fact, I may as well just do that. Let's get it all smashed in. I will have a look at what the water rising looks like. I'm assuming, as I say, it will just be this little darker bit on the mini-map and the bridges. We shall see. I do love this texture. I just think it looks like a British forest, that's why. All this sort of moss that's everywhere, it just reminds me of a British forest. So it looks like there is now too many ants to deal with this one plant. Though. They're all having to queue up there because they're so close. So the water's about to rise. So I'm going to have a quick look at that while we uh, wait for that to be done. Yeah, so it is just that. So it is the bridges which are going to be particularly important, I think, as we get a bit further on. So we're pretty much done there. So let's start sending people over there. We've got a fair bit of food we can spend on a couple more medias. Shall I dig this all out in preparation already or shall I wait for it to go there? Let's dig it all out. We're going to have to do it. Let's get it done. I think that's right, isn't it? I hope that's right. Looks okay. Uh, so our waste is ticking down. You can see how fast it's going down there. Look, so we are grinding out of waste pretty fast. Lots of waste space left over. Fair bit of leaf store there as well. It'll take them a little bit longer to walk over there to get started, but once they've got a bit of a trail going back and forth... Oh yeah, we really need to avoid... I didn't see that. Two fully grown praying mantises just around the corner from us. That is horrendous. And there are some... Uh, I want to say huntsmen, but I can't remember if that's right or not. Harvestmen. Harvestmen spiders just there, look. And a little grub as well. That shouldn't be too bad. They do all have their attack on. We haven't had to deal with anything yet, so I haven't bothered taking any of it off quite yet. And there's enough ants they might be kept away. But we will have to do it at some point. We've got a bit more uh, of a fighting force. Is turn... Uh, make a group just for the workers and turn off their... Um, their attacking. The kind of... Kind of pointless them attacking stuff. Anyway, food is doing spectacularly, so let's get some medias down. Leaf stores are full. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Let's spend some money upgrading that. Improve these leaf stores. So we can dig out a bit down here. We can also dig out, obviously, all of this as well. Make just this one massive food store over here. It's enough for another one straight away. We're attacking a ladybird, are we? I'd actually rather you didn't, to be honest, but it's only the one of them, and I don't think any others are getting involved, and he's going to fly away anyway, so that's all fine. Yeah, we are destroying this plan. Is that 700 still? I hope it is. And there's this one here, then. There's a big one there, but I was going to say it's close to the crickets, but the crickets have gone. Have they been killed by uh, these ants here? I think they must have done. So maybe we'll head up there afterwards, because I feel we can take those out, but that is also actually very close. Maybe we will do that one first. Why not, eh? Why not? 
So it feels like it's a quite a gentle start, really, doesn't it? It doesn't feel like we're uh, massively struggling at the moment. Only had to get in a couple of fights, and it's been nothing at all insurmountable. It is going to ramp with spikes, though, of course. So at some point, some horrible things are going to happen. So we've got something for us to bear in mind. Let's not get too comfortable. There's all of this up here as well, which is actually also very close to the nest. So maybe we'll go there next. Maybe we'll go there next. Who knows? It's a mystery. I'll go wherever the winds take me. So waste is sort of building up a little bit. Maybe we need to think about expanding this a bit more, upgrading a few more. I think if we get all of that filled, I think that's going to be pretty safe because you've still got a nice little corridor to get over there, haven't you? Look at all this leaf coming in. Look, I might actually have to think about upgrading and building some more leaf store, you know. Because it is hovering and dangerously close to being full. Dangerously close. And they've almost finished eating all of that. Eating it all? No. Harvesting it all. And then we'll see about upgrading some more of this stuff as well. To improve these leaf stores. And then we've still got enough left over to make another media. So that gives us 780 isn't bad is it so they're almost done there we'll just keep a bit of an eye ah, night's coming in look our first night so this could be interesting because generally with the night times and the leaf cutter levels obviously you see much more dangerous things in the night so that's the first thing that happens the other thing is they tend to roam around a lot more it seems so we'll see how this pans out we might have to bring everyone in in a bit of a hurry Try and keep an eye on the enemies that are around. See, already they got into a fight with something. Oh, it's only a little... Uh, little enemy and That one should be a bit easier because it's got two medias on him. Is he going for that fish there, is he? Yeah, so they're going to start coming through here quite, quite a lot. Let's get a couple more medias down. Waste's doing okay. Waste doing it. It's going to increase the waste a little bit when they all hatch, but we're doing all right. So we're looking okay for the moment. So we'll get these 19 built, and then we'll start working on some majors, I think. Maybe we should have only done a seven, and then we'll start working on majors straight away. We're getting quite a lot of them coming over now, aren't we? They are getting quite distracted fighting them. So maybe we'll do that and turn off the attack of the, uh, of the workers and see how that pans out for us. Now, I should have left ourselves a nice little path in between these two, so we actually had somewhere, a route where the queen could go and make some majors without having to go through the nest, but I have sort of messed it up a little bit. So I could put it over here, but it's a walk, and over here they need to walk through the other nest, so that's a bit of a frustration. That's a little bit of a frustration. Should have thought about that and let moved that over a couple more, but I think we're just going to have to live with it. There's not really much else we can do. So we'll make a little colony here. And we'll actually open that up both ways, so they have two ways in and out of there. I might even make... What's come in there? What was that? I don't even know what that was. I think it's a little one of those things that... Yeah, I might even make that, so the minimums have a route to take the waste out as well. So, that is the 19 medias done. Well, you're all done up there, look. That's interesting. Let's try sending you over here. There are a fair few things around. I'd rather try and avoid them, but... I don't think that's going to be... In fact, no, let's send you up here, because we only have to deal with the enemy ants. Whereas up here, you've got the hermit crabs. They're going to be a pain. And we have enough to get our first... 
Our first media. So I look at the media's running using that little path now. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Something else has stormed the nest. Not going to last for long though. Up here we're just more fighting that harvestman now. Look. Now we might just get away with this in terms of these other rants. We might be able to just largely avoid them. Although they have all just on mass run over there. Look. It's because the twos are still over there. I've got a separate group. That's why. Ha! That's my fault. Sorry. I'm sure there's a few people screaming at the screen there. How are we doing? So waste is about half full. Still a lot here, but not enough to concern us. Leaf is coming in. They're coming in a little bit faster when we've got all of these ma uh, majors on the way as well. A couple more critters storming the base, but that's fine. They can do whatever they want. As long as that stays away. Oh, don't want to get involved with that. So they're fighting something down there, but we should be all right. Yeah, a few of them are getting brought in from the uh, opposing nest colony. So I don't know how it's going to work with leaf food source. Because obviously when you're using uh, animals as a food source, you get lots, lots of them are regenerating. They're coming back. I don't know if the leaf food is going to regenerate or not. You would sort of suspect not, wouldn't you? I'm just trying to think where we go after that. It's down here, but we keep having praying mantises arrive. I really don't want to have anything to do with those. There's that up there, which has got a hermit crab, but he'll be going soon when when daylight comes. Let's get another major down. Oops. Let's get another major down. Of course, we all start we'll start grading this stuff as well. Maybe we'll just get the seven majors and then we'll start grading everything. Maybe that's what we'll do. Am I going to upgrade the workers? Maybe I won't bother upgrading the workers. Don't know, I can't decide. So we've almost stripped this one clean as well, look. And then, what do we do? Well, there are the praying mantises hidden down there. Of course, they don't show up on the mini-map, do they? There's three of them, actually. No, they don't show up on the mini-map because they're classed as being uh, camouflaged. Not so much on this particular biome, but you can see the thinking behind it. And now that they got dragged away, they're going to be constantly attacking stuff. Leaf stores are full. Core blimey. We've got a couple we can upgrade. Can I upgrade that one? The workers have done all they can to improve these leaf stores. So they've finished with that, so let's send them all over here then. Like I said, there's that hermit crab around, but I think I'd rather that than risk get into a fight with those guys, because if we get in a fight with those guys, we're done. That is the end of it. A little something else attacked the nest, but that's fine. So we're going to strip this clean in, like, seconds, really, aren't we? We see that our leaf stores are almost full again. We've got so many things working for us now. So let's dig out that, and we'll dig out uh, another little row around there as well. So we're pretty much done there. I'd really rather avoid those, and maybe we'll uh, take the chicken root and go over here. We do have a quite a big force, but I don't think we could take on three fully grown praying mantises at the moment. It might be a little bit outside of our comfort zone. We did leave a tiny little bit behind. I might send the ones up there to get this last bit. So we'll upgrade that major there, and then we'll start upgrading these, I think. Just to give us a bit more of an option when it comes to fighting things. Why are you not harvesting this? Why are you not harvesting that? No idea. How weird. So let's send the ones over there as well. And what that means is by sending them in that direction then bringing them back, when I do send them down here, they won't just walk straight through the middle of three praying mantises. 
They are going to be going just dangerously close. I don't like it, but I don't really know what the option is. Get a bit of that upgraded. We need to build some more leaf store around here. Gonna run through that very quickly. What's that just come over the bridge? Oh, it's just one of these. I think that's gonna run into the nest and try and attack us, isn't it? But I suspect we'll be okay. I don't think we're gonna worry too much about that. He's probably dead over there. He's got himself into a bit of a tough fight. See, so we're largely done up there as well. Look, nothing there's again a bit of stuck food there, they just don't seem to want to get. There is a big juicy plant there. This is closer. Like I say, those praying mantises are a bit of a problem, but we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. If they get in a fight, we'll immediately pull out. Don't want to hang around. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone pull back. What we don't want to do is that and lead them towards the nest. I don't know if they'll go inside the nest. Let's find out. Let's hope they don't. Let's pull everyone into the nest. And then hopefully they'll walk away. They are, yes, perfect. Right. So we're not going to go down there. That was a terrible idea. I was right. So we'll add these back into their groups over here. There's a huntsman in the way, harvestman in the way, but that's fine. So that cost us a little bit, but it's not too horrendous. At least they'd, if they followed us into the nest, that would have been end of days for us pretty much. But we got away with it, so it's all good. All good. Let's get our first level three going. We'll get a couple more of those as well. See, so yeah, it's all slowed down a little bit, hasn't it? Because we uh, haven't been gathering leaf for a couple of moments, essentially. So it has all slowed down just a tad. We might, might move the ones straight over there so they're not all... Um, that's what I'm looking for. They're not all trying to use the same food source. Contesting. Does that work if you're... Uh, if it's one colony going for it? I don't know. So here is a lot of leaf coming back. That is going to be a lot of leaf. Once they deal with these harvestmen. So they're going to pick it up, come over here and drop it, get into another fight. <laughs> Which is a little frustration. So twos all come over here because I just noticed that is way too close to my queen. Way too close to McQueen. I don't like that in the slightest. I have to try and keep an eye on that, I think. They change these. They, don't, they look different, don't they? They look a lot cooler. I'm guessing it's a lot more realistic. I've not seen Major Leaf Cutter. Um... What do they call them? Is it pupa? I can't remember. But it looks awesome. It looks awesome. So how are we doing? Waste is starting to get a little full, isn't it? So I think we're going to have to make some more waste. So let's just do that. Make a lot more waste. The twos have run out of food there. We'll start sending the twos over there. The ones we'll leave with this bit for now. And then we're going to have to start thinking about, well, that's a nice little tasty food source over there, isn't it? 
couple of things around. This night time is lasting a long old while. Longer than you might have expected. So we have a lot of... We didn't get much more waste for that, did we? The upgrade must do quite a lot. So let's get that upgraded. They're still dealing with that. That's all good. Whilst they're there, we'll get more of it upgrading as it arrives. They don't have to go back in there. keep doing this until we are done in here so that bottom corner is done we're going to get these three up here done though and that has massively increased our uh, waste capacity and probably also massively increased with all hope the speed with which we'll use it Do like mornings arriving? It's looking ever so slightly brighter, isn't it, I think? So after this, because that water will have risen by then, I think once we've done this, we'll go down there, I reckon. Still have this bit of food down here, but still have three fully grown praying mantis to deal with. Is not high on my list of things to do. I was going to say not high on my list of things to do today, but that's not something that's ever high on my list of things to do. What's that? Lady bear, that's fine. So the water is risen. We shall try and keep an eye on that. And then as soon as that recedes, which already has, we're going to head down there. So that's a little bit closer. It'll leave a little bit of food there for us to worry about later on. There's a bit of food we couldn't get. So there we'll bring in and leaf, are they? Yeah. Wonderful. They're all going down here. There's a couple of things. This thing's a bit of an issue, but... I mean, he's already like three quarters dead, isn't he? So there's another one there, actually, which I didn't see. I didn't know there were two of them. So we'll have to see how this goes. They might hopefully keep their distance. Fingers crossed. And I think once we've got the, these two upgraded, I think we'll have to build a separate force. Well, let's start thinking about getting some more workers to access the nursery as well. So maybe we'll just surround this. We'll just use this down here, maybe. Maybe we'll make like a little, little random nursery bit down here to leave all this free. Um. That's just a harvest. Ah, but these have come close now, look. That's a bit more of a problem. Taking when there's not many people around to help him out. There are currently three medias trying to deal with these two, and that's not enough. And there's not much coming back anytime soon either. What I could do with it is a bit more of a, a bit more of a fort, something like that. That's what I could do with exactly that. So I might turn off the food, the two's food gathering, and I was gonna say we'll go. I thought they were gonna run away, but I don't think they are. They are just hanging around. So I think we'll take them out because they're nearly dead anyway. At least we know this area is then safe-ish. <laughs> safe as it can be. And they should absolutely smash them. Yep, perfect. Two's over there. Food gathering back on, please. Meanwhile, we've got a little bit of food to spend. We need to make a movement tile there, there, and there. Which means we can do that one, 
and then that one, and then that one. Done that one, done that one, but now we can do that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. we can't do that one yet. So close. A little bit more food. There we go, now we can do that one. So I might send the ones into here just to try and again minimise them all uh, coalescing into the one spot. That should be a nice healthy increase to our leaf store, which was actually looking a little bit low, wasn't it? But that's quite nice. Praying Mantis are still there. What's this in the corner over here? Oh, he just seems to be stuck. Just seems to be stuck. Poor little bugger. Some trap jaws are now coming into the territory. I'm hoping they'll just run straight past. Or is that an enemy that's heading for our nest? It might be. In which case this little wood ant colony, I think it is, is doing us a bit of a favour, really. Taking some of that life off him. Yeah, straight down, look. And there is nothing in here to, uh, to take him on. So everything is out in the field. Yeah, we really need to get a an internal security force just to deal with things like this. Even if it's just like seven media, I think that would be very beneficial. So I might actually even build that right there. do that now. I'm not going to bother upgrading the majors yet. I'd rather have our internal security force. And maybe we will surround this with um, with nursery workers. So you guys are going to be the security force. You're the fives. You're going to be stationed here. They are very, very close. Please and thank you, sod right off. This is going to be a problem. Is they going to be coming back one at a time? Oh, there we go. So that's all empty, so we'll have to start sending the twos down there, a bit further away. These are getting a bit closer, and they are still fairly close. Oh good, the ladybirds have pulled them away. Look, there are now four of them. How do you deal with four fully grown praying mantises? Oh, an enemy leafcutter ant. Leafcutter competition. Interesting. Didn't know that would be arriving. It's that one down there we'll have to go for as well in a bit. Well, it wasn't an enemy leaf cutter? What was he, who was fighting who then? What just happened? What just happened? Oh my golly gosh. I was not expecting that. That, I guess, is one of those spikes we heard so much about. So we really need, with all haste, all of our twos to come back just like immediately. Yeah, we are dealing with them now. I feel like there should be a praying mantis alarm bell that goes off when one goes into your nest, because wow, that's an unpleasant thing to happen. Was that one of these down here? Have they gone? That plant down there has gone as well, look. That leaf that was down here has gone. It hasn't gone anywhere else. None of the leaf appears to have regenerated. It's just gone. Huh. That's going to make it all quite awkward, isn't it? So what's happening? What are we fighting here? Oh, nothing major. That's fine. 
harvestmen. They're gonna go down there and get some of that. That's all good. Let's have a look at upgrading our internal security force a little bit. Oh, okay. Another praying mantis. Interesting. Might even send the fives out to deal with him as well. Here we go. This is what I need. That's what I need. Come on. Come on, ladies. Immediately ate the major. Just straight away without even thinking about it. God darn it. Two's back down there. Something's on the bridge. Only a harvestman. Ladybirds around there. The fives. Ooh, the water is rising. So let's start sending people back over here. So we need to avoid that. The fives can head back inside. We'll upgrade these and we'll get this one upgraded to a three as well. So the internal security force actually has a bit of oomph. Oh, hello. Hello, yes, yes and please. So we are starting to get some stuff generating anew. Not much, but I mean, that's not bad. Some nice close food would be a wonderful little boost for us. Appears to be it so far, but yeah, I'm I'm all right with that. I am all right with that. He shouldn't be too bad when a few more. Yeah, there we go. When a few more of those arrive. And the lone trap jaws arrived as well, but again, that shouldn't be a problem. And it's gone. Darn it! Darn it! Yeah, the whole game has just crashed. Oh. I mean, it is a, I will point out again, it is a beta, so uh, yeah. These things are going to happen. The game is going to crash. It does say there, we highly recommend backing up your save game files before attempting to play the free play, because yeah, there are some issues. Now, of course, that means, because I didn't save that at any point. We do have something. We have two. I think it'll be that one. I don't think there's going to be much there. I mean, we really do need to wrap. I was thinking about we'll do about maybe 25, 30 minutes, and it's already gone a fair amount over that. So it is about time we wrap it up. But um, I'm guessing this is just going to load up the scenario at the very beginning. Yep. Damn it. Damn this it. Society Ah, and you can save it at any moment. It is in its infancy. You can save it at any it moment. Quickly if it is Should have been saving. Oh well, is what it is. So, there we go. That is the Leaf Cutter Open Beta Free Play. Somebody did ask me how you get to play the Open Beta. If you look on the Steam page for... Or the Steam News, I should say, for Impasio of the Undergrowth, it does say there. Uh, I can alt-tab out very quickly and have a look, actually, so I can tell you on the video. It is, I believe, if you right click on the game, go to properties, go to the betas tab, and then you have to enter the beta access code, which I believe is Christmas ants, all one word. I'm trying to look for it as we go, but I can't quite see it. It's Christmas ants, all one word. Yeah, there it is. Christmas ants, all one word. So that's C H R I S T M A S A N T S. Hit uh, whatever the option was. Check, I think it was. Betas, yeah. Put Christmas ants in, hit check code, and then you'll be able to go into the open beta. So anyone can do it. It is just hidden away just because it is um, obviously a bit buggy, that's all. So there we go. That is Empires of the Undergrowth open beta. Leaf cutter free play on the new map. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed that. Now, obviously, we don't have anything to carry on, anything to carry on from there. So if you'd like to see more beta, uh, more, sorry, more free play, do let me know in the comments. Or if you'd like to see something different, again, do let me know in the comments. Wonderful to see your thoughts on that. 
If you enjoyed that, do click the like button. That's hugely appreciated. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and all those good things as well. As I mentioned earlier, I do stream as well. So it'll be wonderful to see you on Wednesdays when I stream at 6 p.m. UK time. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Empires of the Undergrowth. And as always, thank you very, very much for joining me.